Hello, welcome to this video. I'm Nick Dyer from Hewlett Packard Enterprise and today I'm joined by Kev Ridings. Thanks Nick, yeah, Kev Ridings from Veeam Software. This video is discussing HPE Nimble Storage DHCI and Veeam Software for end-to-end -end cloud data management. On the screen here, we've drawn up a DHCI architecture. And if you don't know what DHCI is, it's disaggregated hyperconverged infrastructure. The idea of being able to have converged infrastructure with separate compute nodes and storage nodes, but managing it through a single management plane that we call the Stack Manager. So DHCI is made up of compute nodes, which are ProLine Gen 9, Gen 10s. They're also made up of a nimble storage, a DHCI enabled storage array, which could be all flash or hybrid flash. And I've drawn a all flash platform here. It's also made up and consists of VMware vSphere. And so we've got virtual machines running within VMware vSphere and of course virtual center as well. And we've drawn some virtual machines and all of this is augmented and managed through the stack management management plane inside of vCenter. And we've drawn some storage platforms as well on the all flash array. And we've got some snapshots running on the platform for backup and recovery. I've drawn another nimble array here, which happens to be a hybrid flash array because I'm gonna be using this for secondary storage or maybe even replication workloads. So I want a really good cost per gig, but I still want flash-based performance for restores. And I've got some snapshots running because I could be running a primary volume here. And then finally, we've drawn over here a store ones platform or even cloud volumes backup. So where Veeam comes into this is Veeam Cloud Data Management has very, very tight integrations with the Nimble storage platforms. With Nimble, we're able to take lots of snapshots and instantaneous clothes of your data with no performance overheads. Because of that, with Veeam, it can start augmenting the entire stack. Now, Kevin, could you just drop us into a bit more technical detail as to how that does that, please? Sure, yes. So from within the Veeam backup replication interface, you would be able to target some virtual machines, as we've looked at in previous videos, and once you've targeted those, we are, able, we are able to create application consistency and then leverage the snapshotting technology down on the DHCI nimble production storage. But what we're also able to do is then write backups out to, so we would be able to take the data from the uh, production nimble storage, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, base of the um, DHCI. We would then be able to write that down to the store once. And that then gives us the ability to externalize that data. And that really fits into our, our 3 2, one piece. But we can also orchestrate replication out to a, a, a nimble um, hybrid flash array also. So you could, for, for instance here, you could have and want to invest in a brand new DHCI enabled nimble array for production. You might have a older generation nimble array that you now want to take to replication or, or even backup. So you can repurpose this have all flash in production, repurpose this for backups and disaster recovery, and Veeam can augment everything using Nimble-based replication. And just remember, all, all the points in time, whether they be on the primary within DHCI, out on the secondary, perhaps a repurposed secondary, or out on uh, a store once, all application consistent, all can be leveraged for restoration. All our 60 plus different types of recovery are available from any of these locations and can be performed by, as we've said before, an IT generalist. As we have copies of data on the primary uh, DHCI nimble, out on the secondary and the store ones, you have the ability as an IT generalist to perform all the different types of recoveries that you would want to perform from any of these locations. And finally, with Cloud Volumes Backup, you can now use that as a cloud-based repository for replications, backups, and restores. So here, that can be seen as a repository to back up your data from DHCI, and that can be in the cloud using HPE Cloud Volumes, which you can then mount up to AWS as your Google Cloud Platform, and you can bring it back the other way, because it is a backup that Veeam is able to see as a repository. So now it can pull it and it can push it both ways. So what you'll see here is this truly is an end-to-end -end data management strategy using DHCI for high-performance business-critical workloads for virtualized environments, whilst at the same time having a very, very highly performing 
secondary storage device, which is flash enabled, which can now do instantaneous restores using the Veeam agents and the Veeam technologies to do object level restores. So go to store ones for long-term archive or even the cloud to be able to push that off should you want to. So thank you for watching this video. We do hope you find this one useful. If you'd like to watch the rest in the series, we'll make sure that we link you to the, the, the other videos in the description bar below. But for now, for myself, Nick, and for Kevin, thank you very much for watching the video. Have a great day. Bye.